Good afternoon, good evening again, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining today's webinar. Let's go ahead and begin. Hello, my name is Ben David from eSignal. Hope everyone is having a great day. Before I go further, I need to perform a sound check. In the left-hand margin, you will see a chat window. Can you few please type yes or why if you can hear me? Okay, a few more logistics before we begin. If the audio is not clear, if you hear an echo, try locking off Adobe Connect, then log back on. Unfortunately, there is not much else we can do to troubleshoot any audio or video issues you may be experiencing. Secondly, you can find uh, the contact information for the stock swoosh, as well as eSignal to the left bottom section of the notes section. Please take some time during today's webinar to jot down the information, as well as today's special uh, webinar offer. There is also a full screen option of Adobe Connect if the images you see are smaller than you prefer. However, please keep in mind that this will disable the chat function for you. As a thank you for attending, this presentation is being recorded and everyone will receive a copy sometime afterwards. At this time, I wanted to mention some of eSignal's special offers. Uh, eSignal has a special offers page which you can find at www.esignal.com slash specials. Uh, two of the offers I want to highlight at this time include a 30-day risk-free trial of eSignal 12, which is our latest um, platform for trading and technical analysis, as well as uh, you can also refer a friend to the eSignal platform. You can receive up to $100 in credit for referring a friend to the program. Uh, today, I want to highlight today's special uh, stock squish offer. Uh, if you sign up for the Golden Gap course by March 1st, this is which is in the next couple days, and receive this special below. In this special, you can receive the Golden Gap course, the Wealth Manifestation course, and three months in the Stock Squish Show Live Trading Room. Total price for this package is $2,999 US dollars. This is actually close to $1,700 off the retail pricing that Melissa offers for this um, package. The deadline to sign up is this Sunday, March 1st at roughly 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Melissa, during the webinar, will share a little bit more details about the uh, special promo and how you can uh, partake upon the offer. Also, I wanted to mention that eSignal continues to offer constant uh, and many uh, training courses. Um, and the website to get to is learning.esignal.com. In there, you can sign up for, again, free webinar courses on eSignal 12, whether you're uh, just learning the ropes and take advanced courses. And there's also advanced training courses for eSignal 12. For those of you who are looking to trade uh, Forex and Futures, we also offer courses on how to uh, trade Forex and Futures. Lastly, I want to mention that we have a couple upcoming webinars. Uh, the first one is next week, which is Tori Anderson from the Zaner Group. The following week, we'll have Gary Wagner from the Gold Forecast. And two weeks from now, we're having Vlad Freeman from Easy Trade. With those details aside, I wanted to formally introduce Melissa from the Stock Swoosh. Melissa Armo founded the Stock Swoosh LLC in December of 2012. The Stock Swoosh LLC is an educational She was employed for several banks and brokers in uh, Pennsylvania, Florida, Arizona, and New York as a mortgage broker for 17 years. She changed careers from banking to pursue a security trading career in 2008. A self-taught day trader with seven years of experience, Melissa's specialty is a trading strategy that focuses on shorting stocks that gap. In her free time, Melissa likes to work out, read, write, and dance. She also loves New York City and James Bond movies. 
During today's presentation, Melissa will share her strategies, including how to learn to trade on the side of institutional money, learn how to read power money in a chart, learn how to read the trend, learn how to read price, learn a strategy that reads institutional positioning in stocks and the market, and more. In order to keep uh, Melissa's presentation flowing well, I ask that you please hold your questions till the end of the presentation. However, please go ahead and send your questions through the chat box, and Melissa or I will respond in due time. With these final details aside, please welcome Melissa Armo, and again, thank you for attending this eSignal webinar. Melissa, off to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. I just want to do a quick sound check. Does everyone hear me? And also, can you see the slide? I have a big white and red slide up. Wonderful. I can see everyone's chats here, and I think we have time today. If you have questions as we go along, I can answer them. If you want to wait to the end, that's fine too. However, if you have a specific question about a trade that I talk about or any charts up here, feel free to ask me as we go along. Thank you so much for that introduction, Ben. I appreciate that, and thank you, eSignal, for having me here today. So welcome. My name is Melissa Armo. I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC, and today's lecture is going to be on trading on the side of institutional money in gaps, and we're going to talk more specifically what I mean by institutional money in today's lecture. Again, this lecture is sponsored by eSignal, and this is a chart of the SPY. SPY has been continuing higher and made a nice rally even today. We'll talk about the market a little bit in this lecture. And one of the things that I liked about eSignal and the, one of the reasons I partnered up with them is because I am purely a technical analysis trader. I don't look at fundamentals at all, okay? So it is very important for me to have accurate charts and correct price readings. And that's one of the things that eSignal offers. So if you've never used eSignal before, if this is something you're interested in, you can email me or Ben if you're interested more in signing up for eSignal charts. So if you'd also like to contact me, if you have any questions after the webinar today, you can. You can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or feel free to go to my website at www.thestockswish.com and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype. And you can even feel free to call me if you have any questions about the lecture as well today. So let's get started. I, what I want you to do right now, set the tone, just relax. It's 4.30 Eastern time. You might be at your job or home for the day, or it might be nighttime, depending on where you are on the planet. Just relax and open up your mind right now today to learn something new. Because you are going to learn something new today here with me. This is not going to be uh, a waste of an hour of your time. You're actually going to learn some good information today in the lecture. One of the cornerstones to everlasting trading success is consistency. This is like, everyone talks about the golden nugget, like the golden bullet, like the golden thing, like what is that one thing? It's consistency. That is the cornerstone of success in the market that many traders or investors lack. In other words, a lot of people will do something in the market, take a trade and make money, but they have trouble duplicating it. And then they take a series of trades after that and give the money they made from the market back and then lose. So it is really the golden nugget is how to be consistent, how to consistently make money in the market and consistently have success. So without this, it's hard to stay in the market for any length of time. So in order to be consistent, a person needs proper focus on what counts, what ultimately counts, and what can bring everlasting and consistent success. Uh, David saying he cannot hear anything. I don't know, Ben, if you can help David. Can everyone else hear me? Just let me know here. Okay, good. This requires a deeper understanding, better comprehension, and an overall wider perspective of what makes individual success possible for a trader or investor in the stock market, which is understanding, and I'm really breaking this down here, why do stocks move? Why do stocks move? What makes them move? What makes anything move in the market, or the market itself. And by the market, I'm talking about the SPY and the QQQs. I'm talking about the market ETFs. When I'm talking about the market, that's what I'm referring to. Money, that's what makes stocks move. And not only just money, power money. 
What does that mean? It means a ridiculous amount of money, a monstrous amount of money, more money than you could even conceive of in your mind, more money than you've ever seen in one place in your life. Even if you went to the bank, you said, let me look in the vault. I just want to look in the vault today. I just want to peek in and you looked through the gate. You, it, what every dime that you'd see in the vault of any local bank or what they keep on cash on hand, even that wouldn't be enough of what you could conceive of is in the market of what I mean by power of money because it is billions of dollars. And that is what moves stocks in the market. And what do I mean by power of money? What do I call it? It's really institutional money. Becoming a successful trader and investor requires becoming a specialist in defining where the institutions are buying or selling a stock. Learning advanced technical analysis is an important part of this. What does this mean? It means reading price action and charts, which we're going to talk about today. Now, what, what do I mean by institutions? I mean hedge funds, banks. Those types of uh, companies that are so big, that have so much money, that are in the market, taking positions in the market. Comprehending how to redefine and trade with this power of money will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader. So elevate yourself, your trading, and your profits to a higher level of consistency and success by learning how to read the footprints of institutions trading in the market. So you've got to read them, like when they step in to a stock or they pull out of a stock. And there's a way to see that, to define it in the moment it's happening to be able to take the trade, to be able to profit on the move of the institution. Because if you can get in a stock before the institution buys it, and you can buy it before it really makes the big move buying it, then you'll make money. If you can get in a stock before an institution sells it and short it, then you can make money to the downside, shorting before the big momentum comes in. Because if it's after, then it's too late. All right? Now we have some questions here. What are hedge funds? We have a question about that. Let's talk about, I will remind my, remind me to talk about that at the end. That's more than a two second question, but I will write that down right here. I can't answer that at the end. For now, Indra Jit, who's asking what is a hedge fund, I just want you to just picture banks, just to get my point across here. Just picture a big, 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 big bank when I say institution. Okay. Now, what does institutional money look like? Here's the spy. The market is getting bought. To make a long story short, my analysis here of the SPY has been long. The market's been bullish, and the market's getting bought. So here's a great example of institutional money that is lifting the overall market because institutions are buying the market, or it wouldn't look like this. Now, back here, this is the end of two, well, this is a fall, fall of 2014. The market had, had a rally. The market rallied all of 2014, and it actually started to sell off in September here. And here's some of the sell-off here that happened into the beginning of October. And a lot of people were saying the market's going to crash, the market's going to turn, it's falling off the planet. But the fact is that this really was not institutional selling. So therefore, the market had not broken the current trend, which was bullish, and continued higher, and the market made a new high. And it is continuing higher. And if you have followed the market in, since the month of February, the, since February 2nd, the market has traded up green almost every single solitary day, almost up straight vertical, with the exception of two days in here. You have two, one tiny little doji, and then you have the red bar day here, one intraday selling day. Otherwise, this is February 2nd, the first day of the month, and we only have two more days left of this month. And look at what the market has done this month. Here's a good example of institutional money. What is it doing? It's buying the market. Market would not be able to do this if it wasn't getting bought. So this is money that is buying the market and lifting it higher. And if you're a day trader and you don't have a specific strategy to read what's going on here, you might be trying to short the market to get some kind of momentum, which you think is going to come in because you think you can't buy it because you think it's up too far. But actually, I have called the market intraday long a few days in here, which sounds crazy, but it actually has worked. And I specifically trade stocks, not the market ETF, so every once in a while I do. But you could have gone on the market in here. And most traders are looking to short this. And yet I've been calling the market long in my day trading room. Now, how am I reading this like this at these levels, at these price analysis levels? Again, I'm using technical analysis. This is advanced technical analysis. 
because I know how to read institutional money. Now let me just see a couple questions in here very quickly. You heard institutional market exiting with weak fundamentals, retail buyers getting in late, Michael Sane. Michael's saying, I guess, this is Michael's opinion, okay? Michael is saying he doesn't think that, that institutions are buying the market. He thinks this is retail people buying the market. Let's get back to that a little bit later. I disagree, but that's fine. You do occasionally have that in some things, not this market. Now, why might Michael say that? Because Michael probably thinks the market's extended because it's been rallying up all of 2013, 14, 15. And so what people tend to think is extended, then they think the people get in late that are the regular peoples. But I will tell you that my read on this market is not that it's extended. And actually, my target for the SPY this year in the SPY, the ETF is 300. 300. You can... You can call me in January 2016 or in December or the end of the year and see if I'm right or follow my videos on YouTube. But you could go back and look at the 770 videos I have on my YouTube site and watch every call I've made for the market for the last two and a half years. And you can see how I have been calling the market. And I even called the SPY to hit these numbers that weren't even on the chart. The SPY made new highs in 2014. And technical analysis is you look at past price patterns to deterring current price patterns. I called numbers that weren't even there. These numbers weren't here. The SPY made new highs. And I had these numbers here. I have these targets. So to make a long story short, the market's not extended. But that's where Michael's getting his philosophy from. We'll talk about that more at the end here. The key to profits, though, is power and money. Because that is really what moves stocks and the market. And again, getting back to what do I mean by power of money, I mean that it's committed. There's a level of commitment that comes in when an institution decides to buy something or even sell it. Because once they sell it, they sold it. Okay, So there's a level of commitment. It's not like a trader person that is day trading, that's taking a trade that they're in for a day, or even a swing trade person that is in, they're going to get out in a couple of days. When you are an institution, you are committed to that position. There's a level of commitment. It's not to the end of time, but you are not going to take the trade and be out of five minutes. You are not going to take the trade on Monday and kill it on Friday. You're not going to take the trade on February 1st and kill it on February 10th. There is a level of commitment. There are commitments that are made. There are promises. Okay, there are uh, goals. Commitment has a plan of action aka research reports. I'm really going to briefly talk about this. Many of you know, and some of you do not, that actually these investment banks, these institutions, these hedge funds, they buy and share and sell each other research reports. They're actually companies that do research reports, and then they do their own, and they sell them to each other. And they cost several hundred thousand dollars, by the way. You as an individual person do not have access to that, unless you want to spend $350,000 to maybe buy Goldman's report. But they probably wouldn't even sell it to you, and you wouldn't even know the person to even contact, to even buy it from them, and they would never even sell it to you even if you had the money. So how do you, as one person, if you don't have access to the research reports, how do you make money? How can you see what an institution is doing without having this access to this information. you got to look at the price, and you have to have a way to read it accurately. And you can do this how? If you learn how to read the footprints of big position players before the momentum occurs, you can take the position in the right direction and get out after the move happens for profit. But you have to understand how to trade with the side of power. And not only that, you need to know how to find it. And this is the key. Again, because you don't have access to the research reports. It is very important to find it because this power has the ability to pay you, and really that is where you're going to get the level of consistency. Knowing how to read what institutional money looks like is essential to becoming a successful trader if this is really something you want to do for your whole life. And I don't know. I have no idea why you're here, why you even want to trade, why you're trading right now if you even are. I decided I wanted to do this because I wanted to change careers because I was doing a career doing mortgages that was changing and changing very rapidly. And I said, you know what? I have to do something else with my life. And I was young enough that I could do it and make a change. You need to know why you are doing this and how serious you're going to be about it.
But the fact is that you can win big trading on the side of power if you really, really want to do it. Okay. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. So let's just say you think you see a certain thing. And again, Michael was talking about this earlier. And we might even see a sell-off, although I don't think it's going to be tomorrow, where you see something and then Michael might have conviction that the, this is the end. This is the end of the rally or whatever. But the fact is that even if you think it is something like the end of the move of the this bullish market, it's, it's not. I'm telling you it's not. But it's not because they're still there. Who's they? The institutions, the power of money, they're still there. And that's, I saw them still here, here. That's how I was able to call the market would still make a new high after this. But the fact is that the market did pull in. Now, I'm getting, getting back here to September and October of 2014, but the market did have a pull in, ran up here to new highs at 200 something and did come in here to 180 something. Should you have shorted this market? No. Could you have shorted this market and made money? Yes. Would I have done this? No. Why? Market was still bullish. But how did I know even with the drop off in here that the institutions were still in here because I have a specific method that I use to read what really is happening in a chart and its gaps. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to talk about what a gap is. Now, this was a gap. I know this is very small, but I just made this e-signal chart very, very small because I wanted you to see the whole year. This is the beginning of 2014. The market gapped up here, and I, and I really could have even predicted this gap. This was a gap up in the market that happened late 2014 that you could have bought, and you could have bought this gap up in the market. And if you did, you're still in it. Now, this is a long-term swing trade call I did make, and it's holding. So what I'm trying to say is, even though you think that they're not there anymore, the only way to know is to read the gaps. Now, there were gaps in this chart in here. There were bearish gaps in here. How do you know which ones are good or which ones are not good or which ones are going to have follow through? What do I mean follow through? Follow through the downside. Because if you're down gap, you're looking through for follow the downside. Or if you're an up gap, you're looking follow through the upside if you're trying to determine if it's higher or lower. But the fact is that there was no follow through in this move in the market. And then it immediately boom, gapped up and ran. And this is what we're doing right now. So it's really about making sure that you are aware of the fact that it's there unless you see something that is directing you to show that it's exiting or entering. This is depending if you're looking at a long or short. I'm just happy to talk right now about the market because it's such a hot topic. But what I want to point out is that institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times, and you have to know how to pinpoint that. And how do I do that gaps? Okay. A big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market and sets the trend in charts. When you are looking for institutional money, you are really reading the side of power in a stop. You want to be on the side of power in order for you to make money trading. It's all about perception. Okay. It's all about perception. So you really, really have to look and see what do you think is happening? Do you think the stock is getting bought or do you think the stock is getting sold? All right. So what method spots institutional money in the market? This is getting back to what I was saying. It's gaps. It's called golden gaps. Golden gaps are a specific method and strategy that correctly pinpoint institutional direction. This strategy sets up daily in the market. What is a strategy and how does it work? My strategy looks at 26 points on the daily chart of a stock to determine what the directional bias is of that stock on the day. Whether it's a long or it's a short, you can do it with ETFs, you can do it with stock symbols, it doesn't matter. The most valuable information for people to trade can be found in reading price action and gaps. Understanding chart reading of gaps and how important the patterns of price are in the market is what's going to assist you in being profitable. And this is where you get the conviction, because if you can see the institutions in it or exiting it, that gives you conviction to be able to take the risk. And I... I described my strategy, I called it golden gaps because it is like finding a gold mine in the market because it pinpoints the direction that an institution is going to take in the stock before it actually happens and when does it do it in the gap. So golden gaps have huge opportunity because they spot power money. 
Now, let's look at this trade from today. This is CH Keen. This is actually today. I'm going to talk about live charts in here that happened today. CHK closed the night before. Today's Wednesday. But Tuesday night, the stock closed the night before up here around 20-something. Okay? Then you have down here, the stock actually gapped down. You see this in here? It gapped down this morning to like 18-something. See that? So this is a gap. You get up in the morning, you look at the gap, and you rate the gap. And then you determine if the stock is a short or a long. Okay? If it is a short based on the 26-point rating system that I use, you will look to short it. It has to rate 20 points or more. If it rates under 20 points, then it's not going to be a short. It might even rally on the day. Okay? So in this case, you were looking to rate the gap here of CHK to see if you're going to short it. And it, I did rate it, and it did work as a short. Here's a one-minute chart. You would look to take the entry in the one-minute chart. So here again, you see where the stock closed the night before up here. And we're at gap down here. Here's the open. This is at 930. Stock opened, rallied slightly, and you could have shorted the stock in here, and here's the move. So this is institutions selling this stock right here into the open. So the price of the trade entry is 1840. And the target, which it dropped, this is where it dropped right into here, is 1760. See this? So the risk is 20 cents. 20 cents is a risk in here. This is an advanced risk if you risk $700. Your sizing of how much money you risk depends on where you short the stock and put the stock. If you took this trade, you made $2,800 in less than 30 minutes. It's four times your rewards made in profit. Let's go back and look at that. So you could have shorted this here. You put the stop here. And here's where it just dropped. It just fell out of the sky. Just fell off here. You're shorting it. And you get out. Okay. And there you have it. So this is a nice move in to the downside in CHK that happened today. How can you get a trade like this that you're taking within the first five minutes of the day so quickly? Because you would look at CHK in the morning before 930. Okay, this is into the open to determine that you want to short it. And how am I determining that from the daily chart? Because I'm seeing in the morning that CHK gap down. And I'm rating the gap. And I'm determining it's a gap down. And I'm determining that it's a good short. And then I see the setup and I take the trade. Okay? And there you have it. Now let's look at another one here that happened. This was not today. This was another example, though, of institutional selling that happened. This is was AOL. Okay, this was back earlier in February. This is another gap. Again, the strategy is always the gap. You're looking for the gap to tell you what the stock is doing. So this is a one-minute chart. The stock closed the night before up here around 44-something and gap down. Open, and here's the trade. Look at this. Fell off the planet again. And all of this is something that you have to be able to see to take early. Otherwise, you miss all this money in here. Do you see, if you didn't know to watch the stock right in here in the first few minutes of the day, you didn't get the short. You didn't get the short. You didn't make the money. If you're wanting your scanner until after 10 o'clock to look at it, the move is done. This is how you were able to be consistently profitable because you know AOL is your top pick. CHK is your top pick. You have your exact top pick, and you're ready to pounce on the trade when it sets up. Price of this trade, risk entry was 40.90. Risk is 20 cents. Again, your risk should be the same in almost every trade you take. So if you normally were $700, this is $700 again. 3,500 shares. Exit again. This is into the drop. 39.40. Very fast way to make money consistently. Total profits $5,250 in this trade. This is a great risk to reward trade here. It's 7.5 times the amount risk made in profit. So here you turn $700 into 5250. This is another great risk reward trade. What do I mean by risk to reward? I mean for every dollar that you risk, you would make 7.5 in this trade. And actually this wasn't even the low of the day in this, but this is the morning move in here into the drop. Okay. And there you have it. So beautiful move again in AOL. 
So how do you find golden gaps? How do you find these ones like this, like AOL, CHK? Again, I use a checklist. The checklist tells you what to look for in the price of the stock. It is telling you that the stock is either a long or a short. It all comes down to the strategy. The strategy is gaps. That's what's in the chart that I'm seeing. I'm seeing the stock gap and the market as well. That's how I'm able to call the market so well. That's how I know the market's going to continue higher and in fact is not done, as somebody else said earlier in the webinar. Gaps are a secret ingredient in charts that many, many people overlook and yet they hold a lot of significance. Gaps are a definitive and demonstrative change in show price in what is called an event. It's an event, it's a price event. It's a price event that happens in a chart. Gaps are a real show of power money. Gaps either continue the trend or in fact change the trend. If you follow the gap, you'll be following the power money. And I'll let me say one thing. There is nothing else that changes the trend in a chart but a gap. So a lot of people that saw the series of higher highs and higher lows or lower highs and lower lows and the lower lows and the lower highs of people were telling, saying the market was coming in and people said that in December and January and it kept calling the market to make new highs, which it is. Those, those series of pivot lows did not change the trend of the market. It was still in an uptrend. It is still bullish and that's not how something changes the trend. The only way that the market or stock or anything can ever change trend is in a gap. Does it change trend in every time it gaps? No. How will you know that that event in the chart in a gap is something that is significant? You would have to know my system to rate it. And that is how I'll know when the market does something significant, whether higher or lower, because I'm seeing the gaps and I'm rating the gaps. Now, there are a lot of gaps that happen in charts. Not all are significant. Some are what I call nothing gaps, meaning you would rate the gap and you wouldn't do anything on the day. You wouldn't buy it or short it. But on when you get a gap, whether bullish or bearish, if it rates 20 points or more per my 26-point rating system, then you'd know that you could actually trade it or look for a trade in it like AOL or CHK. So there's only one thing that can move stocks or the market, and again, it's power money. And what makes that? Institutions. Power money is in charge. It's in charge all the time. And the amazing thing is that as negative as traders and analysts talk about the power money people, they're the reason that one individual can be successful in the market. So getting back to what I was saying earlier about consistency, how are you able to be consistently successful as one individual? If you have your own account and you do not have millions of dollars, how are you going to make money in the market? You're going to have to ride the coattails of the people that do have millions and billions of dollars in the market. That's how you're going to get the move. You're going to ride the coattails of the trade in AOL to get the short to drop on down. You're going to ride the coattails of the trade in CHP to get K to get the drop on down. That's how you're going to make money. That's how you're going to be consistent. And actually, if you can do that and take a risk of five, six, seven hundred dollars or a thousand dollars even more, that's how you're really, really going at it, where you can actually trade the market for a living. And you're at, to the point where you can make twenty, twenty-five thousand, thirty-five thousand dollars a month. And that isn't even that much money if you look at how much traders are making in the market. And you look at the market and how much money is in the market, that's like a small, 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 small piece. And yet many, many traders are losing. Why? Because they lack focus. And they lack focus on what? What they're supposed to be looking at to determine what's going to happen for the momentum move. Because the only way you're going to make money is playing a momentum. I would never trade the market for a living if I was only actually making five cents in something or two cents in something or three cents in something. Now somebody's asking about gaps, uh, gap fills. I will get to that when we get to the end. I, will, I won't forget that question too. So gaps happen in the market on a regular basis. However, some gaps are better than others. Some gaps are, like I said, nothing gaps, and some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. But the most important gaps in the market are gaps that signify a change in direction or a bigger move in the same direction. And you just got to understand which gaps are meaningful and which ones are not and denote what to do and when a change is occurring. And then you just play it. You play it with the power, and that's how it pays you. So how do you know which gaps are meaningful and which are not? And how do you know which gaps are made with power and money and which are not? The checklist. This is what I do. Every morning I get up and I rate a stock. I rate as many stocks as I want to, as many stocks as are gapping. You can rate longs or shorts. I prefer the downside because short moves come in very quick and fast into the market. So I go through my checklist every morning and I rate the gap. And if it gets 20 points or more for my 26-point checklist, then I look to short it or buy it. 
and that's what I do. So again, let's go back to what I was saying earlier. You have to think intellectually about this. Common sense. If common sense is that for you to make a lot of money as one person sitting at your computer from home, how are you going to do that? Is some tip from somebody or something you see on TV or the internet really going to realistically make it for you? No, okay? You really have to think intellectually and common sense. How does the market move? What makes the market move? And how can you take advantage of that for play as many days as you possibly can to be consistently making money in the market? Because on any given day, on most days of the week, from January to December, with the exception of holidays, when the markets open, there is play in something almost every day in the market. But if you don't know how to read the actual overall market direction, which many, many traders actually stink at, in other words, I've really read this market extremely accurately, and I just am very good at reading charts. But many traders are getting hurt now. Again, somebody in here said the market's going to crash, or it's lower, and it's not. And people said that back in March, and people said, people said that for the, every webinar I did for the last like year, people said it. It's just not true. But if you really, really uh, are trying to get the market with every uh, position that you take, then you're going to struggle to make money. Like this rally that the market has had all this month, if you didn't know what to do on any given day and had something specific to get the move of the momentum, then you might have gotten hurt. Okay? And, or you didn't get any move. In other words, the market some of the days traded in a very tight range. So if you needed the market to get your stock to move, whether up or down, you didn't have any play. Okay? So I'm looking for moves in stocks to get play to make the money. Does that make sense? And how, how am I going to find them in the strategy, which is gaps? How do I know which one's the play or rate the gap? And then I watch it in the morning into the open and get the trade in the morning. I'm always looking to take the trade into the open between 9.30 and 10. Between 9.30 and 10, I'm in. If I don't get in the trade before 10 o'clock, I'm not taking it. So I'm getting the play into that opening period. Okay. I'm seeing all your questions. I'm going to go back. I'm not going to forget them. I have a few more slides here, and I just want to get through, and then I will go back to your questions. So the Golden Gap 26-point rating system pinpoints the direction and power of money by reading price. Now let's go over another one here today. This is HPQ. And actually, I taped the room today. If you want to go to my YouTube site, I did tape the live trading room today where I saw these and I called these. You can, you can go watch it, where I called CHK and HPQ into the, into the open here. Uh, but let's look here at the HPQ. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move in this today. What was it? It was a short. So the stock closed up here the night before and gapped down. And I was looking to short this today, and I did. And it moved. What is this? It's a gap. How do I know that I was supposed to short it versus buy it? Because I rated the gap for my 26-point rating system. And it told me that the institutions were going to sell HPQ today. How did I know? The gap rated more than 20 points in the morning. So I knew that if I shorted HPQ, on selling action from institutions, I'd make money. And that's exactly what I did. Now, here's the play. Open, rally, boom. Shorted it, drop. And this had a nice movement in here. It was very controlled. This is different from CHK. CHK opened and fell off a planet. This you had to wait a little bit longer. But again, this trade still set up first and you were still up very, very quickly. But it was a more controlled sell-off in here as you see this going down here. The price of the entry is 35.43, risk is 30 cents. Again, I'm sizing myself based on the entry of the price entry versus the stop. Because I use hard stops when I trade, therefore, the amount that I want to risk is what I risk, and I'm not gonna lose any more than that. That's what a hard stop is. I put a hard stop in, and I put a hard stop in no matter what size I take. So if you risked $1,050 or 3,500 shares of HPQ, there were two exits I did in this, into the first drop and the second one. These are the two numbers I have seeded out. Total profit, $25.90. This is an excellent trade. So I got out of half, didn't hold the other half all the way down here. And actually, the low in the day in this, I think, ended up being 34.40-ish. Uh, and it could have gotten to 34. 
but it did drop even lower than 61. And it was a two and a half hour trade. Nice trade. Not quite as fast as the CHK, but still a beautiful move. And, and the great thing about also what I teach on how to do these entries here is that many, many times when I take a trade, as soon as I take them up. So you could, you know, you could piecemeal it out of yourself in here and lower the stop. I don't trade like that. I take the trade, I get the move, I get out of half usually, I keep the stop and then write it down to the rest is what I do. Okay. So you've got to learn what selling looks like, but how do you learn that from the gap to see? Because you only make money doing this if you take this trade here. This is what this stock did the rest of the day at rally. So here is what you're playing on with the institution. And it happens very quick. And again, learn what buying looks like. This is another one from the other day. This is TSM. This was a long. Okay, so this is not a short. It's a long. Ticker symbol was TSEM. You would have bought this, and this actually went to the dream target on the day. Now, you could have taken this here and got all out in the first quick rally, or you could have played it out to the dream target. But either way, this is what institutional buying looks like. So the stock opened here. You see it gapped up. Closed the night before here around 13-something, gapped up to 14 something, rallied on the day all the way up to 1650 something or beyond. So it got bought. A beautiful $2 move here in the stock. You see here, this is institutional buying. See that? So it's easy to press the button to make money once you know what to look for. It really, really, really is. Am I saying that training is easy? Yes, if you know what to do. And if you don't, it's hard for you. So it's all about your mentality. I've been trading now for seven years. I have conviction in the trades that I take. Once you learn how to do it, you will have conviction too. If you think trading's hard, you probably should stop because that will be reflective in your results. If you're struggling, 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 you're not going to make it if your mentality is very negative. And actually, I'm reading just on the side here some of the commentaries in the room today. You know, some of the commentaries in the room today, I can tell by reading the energy in some of the commentaries of the room, so people are very negative. This is one of the reasons why trading is one of those things that there will always be a very few amount of people that ever make a lot of money in the market. I happen to be one of those people. I'm very successful. I continue to become more successful every year. And it's because I have a good strategy, but I also have the right mentality to do it. And if you believe the trading and making money is hard, that is exactly what you will create. If you believe that it's something that you can do and believe in yourself and come into contact with someone like me that is successful and you learn from me something that makes sense and works and also learn the mentality, the correct mentality to be able to make money, then you have a great chance of being successful. Because this isn't impossible. Not only am I doing it, I'm actually taught people to do it that are making money with me. So, again, it has to do with learning something that makes sense and also having the right mentality. You've got to have conviction to make real money. Again, I don't know why you're doing this part-time income, full-time income, whatever it is for you. But if you want to trade effectively, you cannot go with the crowd. And guess what? Most of the crowd is negative. Most of the crowd is losing. So you have to be different. And quite frankly, I am very unique and I am very different. And I don't really go with the crowd. I do my own thing and I make money and it works. And again, I'm going to reinforce here the stock switch market call for the market this year is that the SPY is at new highs and will continue to make new highs. And the target for the SPY this year is 300. So if you want to learn my method, if you want to learn, if you're interested, if you think that what I said today struck something in you or made sense, you can reach out to me. I believe that you absolutely must have an edge in the market in order to make it. If you're doing what everyone else does, you will not see the level of success that you want to obtain. You've got to focus on what works. It's not about what 
you have right now the second in the trade you're doing today on Wednesday. It's about what you know because it's about the consistency which you only get with the information. Like if you have a great trade and you want to, if you say you were in the trading room today and say you were in the trading room in a trial and you did CHK and HPQ and you did them and you did my calls, you would never be able to see the consistency unless you take my class because you'd never be able to replicate what I did. You have to be able to replicate it. How are you able to do that to get the consistency? It's from the knowing, it's from the knowledge. Knowledge is power. And earning power is really where the power is. And I'm at the point now in my training where I have the power because I have the information and therefore I have earning power. And that earning power is something that I can replicate over and over and over and over and over and over again as the days and weeks and months and years go on. And there's many people that have things out there that, that are fly-by-nighters. But what I do looks at institutional positioning in the market and stocks. And as long as the market exists, as long as the U.S. stock market exists, that will always be what moves the market. And there will always be gaps because a gap happens when the closing price of a stock closes at one price and opens at another price the day before because there is a close time to the U.S. market and there always will be, whereas the Forex market is a 24-hour market. So the U.S. stock market closes at 4 and opens at 9.30, and in that time, stocks in the market has the capability of gapping. Not everything gaps every day. But you will look for the things that are gapping. And then you know what to pick and what to watch before the market opens the next morning. But the level of consistency is how you know what to do it to get it. And it comes from seeing what's happening with these institutions. So I teach a class. It's called the Golden Gap Course. The Golden Gap Course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day. Like the entries I talked about today, I teach in the class. And I also teach something called the Stock Swoosh, which is what I name my company. It's actually a play I do in the market. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. It teaches one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power and charts. It teaches entries and targets, and it teaches how to pick which stock to trade each day and what direction to take it. It teaches how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction, which is extremely important because a lot of people, a lot of people don't know how to read support and resistance, actually. And I never realized that because I taught myself how to do this. But then when I have people take the class, they are uh, their eyes are open because they realize they didn't read support and resistance right. That's one of the problems that's happening right now in the market, why people are, are calling the markets so poorly, because they don't know how to read support and resistance correctly. So that's a very important piece of the class. Teach is a more proficient and advanced way to read charts focusing on technical analysis and gaps. All right, let me just see some questions here right now. I will not be attending the New York City Traders Expo. I think it was already, it was in February, wasn't it? It was in February already. I thought it's usually in February. I did not go. Clark asked me. The profits come fast in gaps in the morning. Again, I'm looking to get in between 9.30 and 10. And also you can trade gaps from home and work for yourself. I've worked for myself forever. I work for myself doing mortgages. Now I work for myself trading. Uh, you know, working for yourself is just the way to go as far as I'm concerned in this day and age. And remember, trading is about chunking it out. It's about income generation. You're not looking for the home run. You're looking for that move, that money move, that move that happens in the morning quickly and you're out. I do not like to trade in the afternoon. I do not like to trade past 11 o'clock. I run a trading room that's every day from 8.30 to 11 and I'm done. I don't like to trade all day. It's exhausting and you give money back in the afternoon. So chunk it out. Whatever move you get, a dollar, a dollar and a half, two dollars, fifty cents, thirty cents, whatever it is, you get the trade to the target or as close as you can and you chunk it out. And remember, this 100% conviction thing I'm talking about is very important because don't trade if you don't believe something's going to work. Don't do 50-50. You don't have high odds of success. You have to learn something that's a high percentage odds of success. My Golden Gap rating system is a high percentage of odds of success in working and sort of the setups that I take. So empower yourself to trade the market. The class I teach, again, is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free online. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. The class is March 7th and 8th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $3,499. It is a professional bearish gap system. 
If you're interested, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Now, I am doing a special for eSignal for the people that are at the webinar, that are here today, and that are serious, and that actually want to learn from me and want me to mentor them and want to learn how to trade gaps right. You can sign up for the Golden Gap course by March 1st, and you can do it for $29.99. You will receive the Wealth Manifestation class free, which has nothing to do with charts, but it is a great class which talks about the brain and your mind and about money. That is on Monday, March 2nd from 12 to 3. You get that class free. You get three months in the Stock Swish Live trading room free, which would be March, April, and May. That, that's a long time to be in the live trading room and to get my calls. And then you would get the Golden Gap class, which is March 7th and 8th from 9 to 5. The total price is $29.99. So this means you would save $1,649. This is a great deal. And this gives you so much information to get going in the right way mentally and also with learning the Golden Gap system strategically for the rating system and the entries and the targets. Deadline for this class is Sunday, March 1st. And then you get my calls in the room, just like the calls I made today. So you learn the information in the class. You'd be in the room for three months so you can get up and going to take the trades with me to make money. And then you have the wealth class, which is on Monday, March 2nd. And that's just a great class for anyone that is, is really anyone that is struggling if you have been mentally struggling with your trading. That cost of that class alone is $3.99. So if you want to do that, you can even just do that class alone. And, and you know... I've had so many compliments about this class. Everything that I do tries to teach people to empower them to be successful financially. And part of that is your mindset. And I kind of touched on that a little bit earlier. Again, it's about perception. If you believe that your life is a struggle and trading is a struggle and you believe that you're going to lose, then you will manifest that in your life. If you believe that you're successful, you will make it. At the time that I was transitioning from my mortgage job to, my, to, to doing trading, I was losing at the beginning. But I knew that I was a successful person. I knew I was very bright. And when I started out doing the trading, I... I thought that I was, you know, going to figure it out like very, very quickly, like in a month. And I realized that it was challenging and it was going to take me longer than I thought, but I still figured it out. Why? Because I believed in myself and I knew that I am a successful person and I've always been successful and I've always made a lot of money in anything that I've done career-wise. But the market is one of these things that it will really bite you in the butt if it gets under your skin mentally and you start down the road and you start to lose because everyone that starts trading loses at the beginning because nobody is born as a good trader. And if you let that mentality affect you, you will go down a black hole that you may never get out of with the market. So I give people everything they need. I give them the foundation, which is the knowledge, which is in the strategy, the mental foundation that they need to be successful to reset their brain so that they can move forward to be successful exactly the way that they want to financially and make the money that they want in the market. And then the room is the support system for be able to just take my calls in live time to be able to make the money very quickly after the class. So the fact is that success is within your grasp. You can do it. And I give people all the tools to do that. So thank you very much. Let's go back here and let me just see because there's lots and lots and lots and lots of questions. Uh, let me just see here. Let's see if I can scroll up. Uh, you can use whatever platform you want, whether it's Ninja Trader, Thinkorswim, or any platform, and you can use these other platforms with these signal charts. You need a, a charting system, you know, like the e signal charts, so you can see the charts, the candlesticks, the moving price. And you need a platform that you can take a position in a day trade in an equity and a stock. And I prefer to use hotkeys. So, uh, you know, I, you have to have a setup that you can take an equity trade, a setup at a place where you can take the trade on the platform, put in a hard stop, and I prefer hotkeys. And you have to have the chart access. All right, there's just so, so, so many people here that I'm looking at. Uh Yes, your, your level two data will come with your broker platform. That is how you're going to be able to take the position in the stock pressing the button. So you will look at your level two and see the price, and you will also look at the chart and see the price at the same time consecutively when you're pressing the button to take the trade. 
you'll if you don't know how to use a trading platform, you're going to have to go and test that out with a broker or the customer service of the platforms. I I do not teach you actually have to use the platform in the class. I need to be clear on that. You will have to learn how to use the platform yourself with the broker or customer service, which they allow you free. And EBD Signal has their own customer services. They will help people set up their charts and figure out how to do different things on the charts. I don't teach you how to use charting packages or platforms. I teach you the strategy, okay, and how to take the entries as far as where and the timing and the price entries and the targets and the support and the resistance, the actual software. You can use whatever place you want, and you will have to use, learn that information from them. Nick S. is asking me a silly, silly question, and actually somebody emailed me this earlier today. Is it, do I really, I mean, are we really going to ask silly questions here? Nick's just asking if I've ever had a losing day this year. Now, let, let's, what do you think? I mean, what do you think? Do you think I've never had a losing day? I mean, really? I mean, what is the mentality of the people that listen to me talk, that come to these webinars? I mean, sometimes I just look at it and I say, what? I mean, really? Is that a legitimate question or are you being facetious? Because I think I, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that you're actually being facetious, not serious. So let me look and see if there's any serious questions here. Uh, what is the percentage of successful profitable trade year of the gap system strategy and do you post trade confirmations online? I do not post trade confirmations online, Rick, but I do give people uh, access to the live trading room in a trial. So if you would like a trial to the live trading room for a week, today is Wednesday, the class is March 7th and 8th, you'd miss the special, but you could access for a week, all of next week, you could be in the live trading room. If you want to email me tonight, you can get a free trial to the room. You could track all the trades then that I do for that week. I also have on YouTube, again, 770 videos. And I have many videos of the live trading room that I tape. Today is one of them. In fact, in the last two weeks, I've actually taped a lot of days in the room. You could go back and now look at every live trading room I've taped for the last two weeks, and you could figure out what I've done from that scene at live, where I call the exact entries and got out. It's very clear. I don't, I don't train more than one or two things a day. In fact, I usually train one thing a day and maybe two. It's very easy to follow me in the room. It's very easy to follow me in the videos. I'm, I'm very easy to follow. If you can't follow me, you can't follow anyone in the room. And I'm very exact with what I do. I also could give you referrals. You can talk to actual students. Uh, let me get back. Uh, Terry wrote something very nice. Thank you, Terry. Ter Terry, thank me for your time. Thank you, Terry. Navez, I hope I pronounced that right, wrote something nice. I've been a professional trader for 10 years, and you're always here learning and improving. Please don't take notice of the newbies. Thank you, Navez. Yeah. Actually, you know what the funny thing is, Navez? I found that, that people that are doing this for a long time tend to have the negative attitude. Call it baggage. Call it whatever you want to call it. Does that mean if you have a negative attitude, you're never going to get over it? No, you can, but you're going to have to change, and you're going to have to do what I call a reset. People that are brand, brand new that never traded before in their life actually do really well because they come to me, and they have never done anything. They've never even pressed a button before. And then also, I'm teaching them all this positive thinking. So they start out very fresh. I just had a gentleman that did the class last month. He never took a trading class in his life before. He found me on the internet, just some wild thing on the internet. He actually lives in New York, and we actually met face-to-face, -face, and then he signed up for the class, and he immediately signed up for the room for the year. He had read like 100 books. He actually has been on and off trading for years, but he never did a class. And, and he just saw one of my videos or whatever. And then he asked me to meet, and we met, and then, and then he just signed up for the class, and then he did it, and now he's trading actively. But he read a million books, never did a class, but he couldn't teach himself how to trade with the books, and so then he, then he did the class. Uh, let me just go back here. The live trading room is $250 a month. You do have to sign up and take and be a student of the Golden Gap class to sign up for the room. 
So after you sign up for the class and take the class, then you can join the room. You're eligible to join the room, although I'm giving three months for the room for free in this class. I had one gentleman last month that was in the room on the trial and made the money in one trade for the for the class. He signed up immediately. He's going to do a testimonial. I said, you, this is, you know, I, I've, I've heard of people actually being in the room on the trial and making the money for the class, but that was the first time that anybody said they did it in one trade, and he was, like, ecstatic and emailed me, like, right away so when to sign up immediately. He is going to write a testimonial for the website, and he he's in the room. He's in the room. He signed up for everything, and he's he made money for the class before he, he even did the class, and it was in a trade I called in Fossil, and I think I have the room online for that day. FOSL was the trade. He did it, and, and he made over $3,000, but I'm not saying that everyone you know, should be taking the trial to do that, okay, because you really need to take the class to learn how to do this because these trades set up on the one minute chart. And if you don't know how to press the button, you, you know, how are you going to do it? But some people already are trading and they do know how to press the buttons and they're actively trading, but they don't know gaps. So then they come to me, they do take my calls and then they learn specifically the gaps. So I have a mix of people. Some are new, some are old. Uh, let me go down here and see. Uh, somebody is asking about binary options. I have people that take my class and use my system for all kinds of different things. You can do it for options. Again, it's it can be more cost effective sometimes than taking the equity trade. I personally just have always done you know equity trading. But if you feel like you really really want to do an option, you would rate the gap. You would take the option in the trade based on the directional bias of the gap for the twenty six point rating system, and then you would have to know how to do the option yourself, John, because I'm not going to teach you how to do an option trade. So you would have to know how to do the option yourself. And Wayne asked about the options too. Mac asked, how much money do you need to trade your system? Well, again, it's based on the amount of you risk, meaning do you need a million dollars to do this? No. Do you have to be risking $700 every trade to make money? No. Could you take a trade and risk $50 and make money doing this? Yes. I'm not going to tell you if you should risk $50, $100, or $700. That's up to you. You make what you can afford to risk. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's the right thing to do. The right thing to do is not to go hog wild uh, right away after the class. You proved yourself starting small. Risk $50, then risk $100, then risk $150, $200, $250. Prove to yourself that you can be consistently profitable in the room with me you know, week after day after week, and then you can step up the risk. There is no set amount that you need, though, to be risking or to have. Hey, money, any money is any money. Do you know what I'm saying? If you are not making money trading and you take my class and you're in the room and you can make money trading, then do it. Whether it's, whether it's you know, $500 a day or $1,000 a day or $200 a day. I mean, $200 a day in for somebody that's losing is like a dream target. I mean, $200 a day, if you make $200 a day trading and you're losing, that is $1,000 a week. That's four grand a month. And if you lost money in 2014 trading and all of a sudden this year you can make 50 grand a, a year trading, that's a big step up because that means next year we'll be making 100 and the next year we'll be making after that 200. Does that make sense? So it's like, don't worry about that. Risk what you can afford. Uh, do I have a lot of traders in the chat room? I have over 60 people in the live room. Most of them have signed up for the year, and I have a few people that are month to month, but most of the people that are there are committed to doing it. They paid for the whole year. You can sign up for the year. I do have people that have done my class that, have, that are not in the room. Why? Because you learn everything in my actual class to trade on your own. And actually, a lot of people that have done my class trade on their own. Some people like to be in the room with me, but you don't have to be in the room with me at all. You can trade on your own. It's totally, totally up to you because I teach you how to do it yourself. Why? Because I don't think I'm going to be running a live trading room forever. So, you know, I want people to get their money's worth out of the class. And that means you got to know how to do it yourself. Because what if I run off and, you know, get married and have a baby and meet the man of my dreams tomorrow? then I'm not, you know, may not want to do this. So, you know what I mean? Like, you have to learn how to trade yourself. And I teach you that in the class. No, it's not going to happen right now, but I mean, it could. Uh, let me just see here. Nick, I don't know about that. Any signal questions, maybe direct directly to Ben. Let me just 
scroll up here a little bit and see if I get everybody's questions. Uh, Owen is asking about seeing gaps in the pre-market. You can see them a million places. You can see them in the chart, in the pre-market data. You can see them in your level two, your live level two, which would have to be a live platform that you have to have with the broker. You can see gaps. Uh, you can go and Google uh, online and, and find stocks that are gapping free. And you can also pay for a scanner if you really, really, really want to pay for a scanner. And a scanner would give you all the gaps. But I don't have a separate scanner. Um, let me just try to scroll up here. How often do you see the gap for time the day before? Okay, this is a different question here. Clark is saying, meaning I would see the gap like before the gap would even happen. No, I'm waiting for the gap to happen. Like right now, something's gapping right now tonight, I'm sure. Like I don't even remember what was out tonight. Like there's earnings out tonight. I forget what I even looked at this morning. I forget the watches for tonight. But there's, there's stuff gapping right now. It's 530. I'm not doing the trade until the open, which is after 930. And I'm not doing anything with the, with the stock until it gaps. So I'm waiting for the gap. The gap happens at night or in the morning or both. Like right now at 5.35 Eastern Time, there are stocks that are gapping. I can look at them when I'm done, or I would look at them, and then I could rate the gap right now. And then I would know even if I want to do it tomorrow. But I'm not doing it tonight. I'm doing it tomorrow. So I'm not like predicting that it's going to gap, Clark. Although sometimes I can, I can do that, but I'm not taking the position. I'm just saying I, you know, my call is that this is going to do this. But... I'm waiting until it actually gaps. And then I'm rating that gap when it's actually gapping. And then I'm taking the trade live when the market opens after 9.30. But every once in a while, I do look at something like, like Netflix. Like I had 100% conviction Netflix would gap up, and it did. But I didn't do anything with that, and I didn't, I didn't buy it before the gap. I didn't buy it before the earnings or anything like that. I mean, that would have been crazy to do. And I'm not teaching you that. I'm teaching you wait for it to gap. Rate the gap, play it on the open, and then I teach you how. Okay. Folks, this is Ben from A-Signal. We're running a couple minutes over the allotted time. Can we get a few or a couple of final questions for Melissa, and then we'll close off the webinar? Thanks, everyone, for the good questions. I'm sorry if I missed some. Listen, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you do have questions I didn't get to tonight. And if you would like to sign up for the class eSignal webinar special, please definitely email me. If you would like a trial of the live trading room, email me as well. Okay. And if you want to go watch my videos, you can go watch them online too. Okay. Hey, folks, at that point, let's go ahead and close out the webinar. Again, um, Melissa's contact information in the notes section of this webinar page. Uh, Again, thank you for attending today's eSignal webinar. I would like to personally thank Melissa for taking time out of her schedule to spend time with us. I would also like to thank each of you for coming to today's webinar. I hope you found this webinar beneficial. If you have any follow-up questions, again, please do not hesitate to contact Melissa at the Stock Swoosh um, or eSignal if you have any questions regarding the product or Melissa's um, special offer this weekend uh, uh, that's due this weekend. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And as a reminder, you will be receiving a recorded copy of this webinar as a thank you for attending. We hope you have enjoyed this webinar and will join us again soon. Again, good afternoon and good evening to all. Thank you.